Hello, hello, and welcome to Aurora's Brainworks, where we get creative and see if it works. Today, we're going to be doing something that a lot of people have been wanting for quite some time. I will be doing some shibari on a live model. <gasps> Don't be like that. All right, someone seems a little bit mad at the prospect. What we're going to be doing and what I will be showing you today is uh, the wrists over the head, behind the back sort of scenario. Kind of like a, a reverse prayer, which is actually kind of more like that instead of over the head. More like a reverse praying mantis. <laughs> Hard to describe, you'll see. Either way, safe scene and consensual is gonna be a little bit more important today, mostly because we're gonna be working around the wrists and we're gonna be putting a body into predicament, into a mm, difficult position to be in. With that said, safety. Be sure to have some safety shares with you at all times. You can always get a new rope, can't get a new life. And consensual, me, Marie, Crochet, Rory, and my rope model are all consenting adults. Communication is key. Now, before we take a deep dive into this wonderful, beautiful predicament, we must first thank my sponsors, me, and my new gaming YouTube. Little town, such a quiet village. Gotcha. Surprise, motherfucker! Stupid well. man thing! You won't live long! Every day, like the one before. What about in this bathroom? Mark, you taking the poopers? Ah, uh, holy sh**. Uh... Okay, you know, sure. I think I found Mark. Little t <laughs> town with some hanging goat heads. The hobbled figure stood in your path. <laughs> Yee-haw! Twas the prospector! <laughs> Waking up to say bonjour, 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 bonjour. Do 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 do. This place is cursed, and I don't care. So why am I showing you this particular tie? It has a few good elements to it. One, being able to put the wrist together in a, uh, a pair of double column tie cuffs. And it has an air of difficulty to it without actually being that difficult. I would say it is of average difficulty, if not just above beginner. Once you get the lark's head double column around the wrists pretty good, the rest of the tie kind of speaks for itself. There's an easy flow to learn how to do. So let's learn who we're flowing with. Hi. That's Angelia. <laughs> She's our rope model today. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the bite of our rope, the middle of our rope, we're going to go around the rips, wrists, <laughs> oof, <laughs> and we'll cycle through that. Now you might be thinking, Rory, a lark's head, it cinches. Like, yes it does, but we will be closing it. And we want to give ourselves a little bit of space so that the uh, wrists have a little bit of area to breathe, mostly because we will be cinching it down at one point. Now what we want to do is make sure that we're going towards the outside, not towards the inside of the wrists. The wrists have a wealth of vessels and ligaments and nerves. And <laughs> the less we impact on those, the better. So I think going around and having uh, three complete wraps, making sure that our wraps are straight, is the maximum you want to do. If it gets more than that, if you go to four or five times around, it becomes too bulky when we uh, finish up what we're doing here. So after we've come around the third time, we're gonna reach into this secondary bite that we created with the girth hitch, and then we're going to pull through that bad boy And once we've gone through that, the immediate want for this rope is to go this way. So we're not going to fight against it. It's, that is its natural instinct. That is what we shall do. And we'll come up from below. And at this point, this is the area where we can really put in our cinchability. So we're going to come through the double bite again. And it's at this point in time we can cinch down. We can pull down onto it. And cinch down. What we want to do is have one to two fingers that can go underneath where the cuffs rest. And what's important is seeing how we continue to go through the bike twice on the right side. We want to create our lock, the half hitch, on the left side. So what we're going to do is we'll create a half circle like that and then we're going to go into the left wrist right here. 
and then through the half circle we had created. Once it's there, we cinch that bad boy up. Miss Angelia, how does that feel? It feels great. Nice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull it up over the head and around the back. Once we come back down this way, we're gonna go once around the chest, just below where the breasts are. I will have my lovely assistant turn around to face the camera to see. Ah, ooh, and back around. Now, at this point in time, you can decide whether or not you want to pull this down a little bit to gain a little extra predicament. Uh, that is up to you and your uh, partner. Angelia, how do you feel? Do you want this to be a little bit tighter, or are we good right there? Tighter, please. <laughs> so, in order to get some of that tightness, we're going to come down. We're going to start from behind it. We're going to cycle it this way, and then put the, uh, the other pressure going the other way. That way we can get an idea of how much tightness we want it to pull down. How's that? Perfect. Awesome. So we'll go wrap around once more. Once we come back around, we're gonna go through the double hitch again, like so. And then to finish it off, just like what we had done with the cuffs above, we're going to create a circle for our half hitch. We will go underneath, pull through. That will help us lock it down once we cinch that. And there you are. With whatever you have left over, I have about four feet left over, that will essentially be your homework rope. Whatever you want to do with that, you can do. Do you want to go around the chest again? Do you want to try and create a design? Do you want to just put them up against a bedpost so they can't get away? That's really up to you. Go out there, make some art with people. Well, hey, I hope you had as much fun learning from that tutorial as we did uh, teaching it to you. Marie's off trying to find another rigger to uh, work on here. Uh, little does she know she is blacklisted from, well, just about all of them. Yes, because of that. <laughs> I would be remiss if I did not bring up my other lovely sponsors for today, the wonderful people over at Patreon. That's patreon.com backslash Roar's Brainworks, just like this YouTube channel. They are my rope vanguard, my colonizers of dreams. And without them, these ropey devers would be way harder to accomplish. Thank you for spending your time with me. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to this madness, and comment down below what kind of ropey things you would like us to teach you. As always, I'm Rory. This is our brain. I'm fairly certain it works. Be safe and go create some art.